This here is a prime lens. Specifically, it's the 85mm f1.4 from Samyang, and it's the Mark II. Now, I want to talk about why prime lenses are key for night photography. Having a prime lens means that you have a wider aperture. So this one is an f1.4 aperture, meaning that you can open it nice and wide and get some natural light coming into the lens and to that sensor, meaning that you can reduce your ISO so you don't have to have so much grain. When you have a higher ISO, you're gonna have more noise and more grain in your image. So you want to try and create the photo you want with your aperture and your shutter speed first, and then if you have to, you can bump up the ISO to the bare minimum. You wanna try and reduce the noise, and then if you wanna add some grain in post-production, you can do. Now, I've just released some filmic simulation presets. There's a link in the description if you'd like to go and check them out. I also have 125 plus presets for mobile and desktop down in the description if you wanna go and check them out. Super affordable, $10, have a look. Let's go and shoot some stuff, and I wanna show you how good primes are. Okay, so we're going to start down in Circular Quay and then we're going to walk towards maybe like Chinatown area because it's actually where I've parked the car. So it has been raining, so there's a bunch of reflections around which is going to help just to give us some spice. So I've just come down here and there's also no trams running this side at the moment, but we might be able to get somebody walking across the frame or something like that. But we shall uh, just have a quick look here. I don't want to spend too long here because it's kind of like a really like well-known photography area. Okay, so I'm going to put tap to focus on. And I'm going to tap to focus in the center of the screen. And I'm just going to get a bunch of different shots here. Maybe this dude with the harbor bridge in the background settings for that was a hundredth of a second f2.8 iso 2000 but because we have got the f1.4 on we can obviously widen up that aperture bring in that natural light drop the iso to reduce that noise and we can go to like a hundredth of a second iso 500 in this light and as we go along i'll talk you through the settings that i'm using i'm gonna get one more here and then i'm gonna go catch up with the boys i'm here with will willis and moses i will link them all in the uh in the description and I'm just getting a bunch of different shots to kind of get my eye in to kind of just get in the flow not really thinking too much about it I haven't shot in a couple of days so I'm just just kind of getting into it taking some shots are you guys cleaning Yeah, I'm going to walk up that way as well. But it looks good. Huh? Just street photography. I like to go out when it's been raining. It looks pretty sick. I need some like look up shots here as well. Maybe the buildings. So getting a bit of the glare in on the right hand side. Just a bit of an architectural shot. Okay, so this has got like a nice passage. Uh, well, this dude on the left, as he walks past. Maybe I can get something in the foreground. It's very windy as well, so sorry about the audio. Yeah, let's get something in the foreground here. That's quite nice. Oh, windy, windy, windy. Okay, so the next shot, landscape shot, 320 of a second, f1.4. Dude going through the frame. In front of this easy mark, which is nice. Like quite a nice cinematic vibe. ISO 320, f1.4. Are you guys, are you guys all getting the same shot or what? Oh my God. <laughs> Still down this nice alleyway here. There's a lady down the end, which looks really nice. Gonna tap to focus. Gonna get one in landscape and one in portrait. It's a nice like kind of ominous shot because you can't obviously make out the subject. Oh look, it's like almost like the universe is put a model there. It's really nice. 
and there's a just this dude down here which is pretty sick and then there's gonna be a guy walking around the corner in a moment which i'm gonna get so that's one the same street that i was just shooting at but there's um just here there's a nice reflection it would be really nice if there was somebody going through the frame but i don't think i'm gonna get it but it gives this like kind of flare effect which is really nice there is a car um what about the bus stop if i get the right angle i might be able to get people in the bus stop people crossing the road no didn't pull focus no uh, i think i missed it i'm gonna try and get one in uh landscape as well just so i have it person going for the frame I will say like not every shot that you're going to get is going to be a banger or a good and that's kind of like personally that's one of the beauties of doing street photography is that it kind of like humbles you almost to you get the shot and they look okay I mean I quite like that shot this one's actually same one same dude that I just got just now but more of a tight angle let's move on and I think what I might do is I'm just going to change the shutter down the eye so open up the shutter a little bit get a little bit of a longer exposure behind the person sitting here just wait for a car to go through the frame or a bus and oh i kind of work i don't want to wait for the next bus but that'll be good i'm happy with that you can kind of see the uh, example if i can change the settings quick enough and get a shot of this dude quick enough oh the light's nice get one in portrait as well okay so because it's been raining kind of like the rain and the the mist on the side of the bus looks really nice hundred per second iso 1000 f 1.4 kind of like an ominous shot which is quite nice but we'll uh we'll get some more of those as the as we progress and walk the wet moist streets of sydney okay so this dude going through the frame i'm going to use this reflection i'm going to tap on the screen to pull focus in the center at the top this is the frame didn't really get time to check the settings but i reckon we nailed it did we get it did we get it ah it's not at focus no <laughs> fuck's sake all right, there's a nice clock here, which is pretty sick. What comes from? Nice, simple street shot. Obviously, like I mentioned earlier on, with the boys, Willis, Moses, okay. Willis, oh, Nando's. and Will. Nando's and he's pointing out Nando's because he likes chicken. That's a nice clock. It is a nice... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay, so we've found this random alleyway, which is uh, next to a pub. This is going to be quite a cool shot. Nice silhouette shot of these two people walking down here. Going to have to bump the ISO there. Uh, and there's always like other people whenever you're trying to get the shot. So I'm going to wait for these guys to move. And then wait for somebody to walk through the frame. Uh, there's actually like a taxi driver just chilling down the end, which kind of works. I'm going to tap to focus. Happen to focus on the taxi driver. It's actually a really, really nice shot. If I had a wide angle, I'd get a nice look up shot. So, this is the look up, which is pretty sick. Nice little frame. Oh, that's sick. It's so good with the 85. We're f 1.4, 60th of a second, ISO 1250. We're going to move on to the next location and see what else we can find. Okay, so dude walking across this over here, if I can get the settings in landscape. Okay, so there's a shot over here that I'm going to get. I'm going to go in landscape, person crossing the road. I'm like so bait right now, if someone comes I'm going to get fucking hit. Kind of works, it's not too bad but Oh, it's kind of cool because the feet are kind of walking across the pole and you can't see the like the bottoms of their shoes so it looks all right 
that was shot at 125th of a second f1.4 iso 500 okay so we're heading down towards chinatown now there's a dude just chilling on his laptop outside this restaurant landscape is quite nice and like i said before i always try and do both i always try to have a bit of landscape and a bit of portrait in these videos and then also over on instagram and when i am doing landscape um carousels over on instagram i use an application called film frames it's only on uh, on apple but it's a very good app to use um and i highly recommend it willis is just walking under this sign by the bus stop while tram stop and it looks actually quite cool go back a bit yeah that's good another forward forward yeah there's sick Oh, so windy as well 200th of a second f1.4 iso 500 okay being able to take those types of shots at night time is in my opinion incredible getting those nice sharp images at night in pretty low light with one single lens is fantastic although this is testament to how good the 85 mil the samyang is how good this 85 millimeter from samyang is it doesn't mean it's it's because of the samyang lens it's because you're shooting with a prime lens. Prime lenses with that nice wide aperture allows you to capture better images at nighttime. And then also they're really good with portrait stuff because it gives you that really cool separation and compression. This is compression. You see how at 12 mil, this is nice and wide. That looks really far away. The back wall is really far away. When I zoom into 24 mil, brings that back wall closer so it compresses the photo and brings it all nice and creamy and nice and close and that's what happens with a prime lens especially 35 50 85 or 105 you're going to get that nice compression and nice separation between my face and the background so it's beautiful for portrait stuff and also really good for those low light situations we're going to have a look at the hashtag optical wonder where you can show me the content you're creating and in turn inspire me and inspire others around the world we've got a screen recording on and the hashtag is up to 610,000 posts i'm trying to get this hashtag to a million posts this year and it's definitely doable so if you want to help me do that just put the hashtag in your caption and uh, you'll also get a chance to being featured on this channel this one here is really sick love the compression again you can see that he's obviously using some sort of uh, maybe 35 mil or maybe 50 mil because you can see the background is nice and close to the back of the car whereas if he was using a wide like this it wouldn't be so wouldn't be so close uh keeping going down let's go with um i love the colors on this one really like it nice orange typical like against kind of like the blue tones that people kind of go for in these like i do a lot of the time i like this orange i like that moody orange tone uh going down so here you can also see uh talking about that separation with a, a prime lens you can see that they've used a prime lens because the the background this again is really close so the the compression is is quite mega and then also on top of that you have the the bokeh so you can see it's nice and soft in the background so it gives that nice portrait shot um, we'll see if we can find some other portrait shot stuff and if you'd like me to do some portrait photography please let me know in the description and i can do more of that on this channel this is really nice nice black and white shot um, i'm going out to do a film pov soon with a black and white film i'm excited to do that um, and we'll do two more we will go with this one here which is a nice shot of uh, lamborghini from optical gel dude how are you hope you're uh, hope you're doing well and we'll do one more let's go with this one of a nice compressed shot of tower bridge so the reason you can tell this is compressed is because as you can see the background firstly you're really close to tower bridge but then the background of tower bridge is brought a lot closer to tower bridge because they're using a uh, a longer focal length now again if you do want to get featured on this channel you can use the hashtag optical wonder just throw it in your caption over on instagram and you get a chance to be featured now obviously the compression this thing also goes up with the millimeter so if you're shooting at 200 mil 600 mil 100 mil that's also going to do the same but with prime lenses you get that nice bokeh that nice separation here this is at f 2.8 so you can see that the lights back there are kind of like a bit fuzzy but you can make it out but with like the 85 mil stuff it's really bokeh out out and it means that the focus is more on the face or more on the subject that you're trying to shoot which is why the 85 the 35 or prime lens specifically are very good for that 
because you can get that nice wide open aperture, gives you that beautiful separation and those nice sharp images. With all that being said, create more, stress less. Hope this has helped. Maybe go and buy a prime lens. There's a link to the 85 in the description. It is an affiliate link, but it's there anyway. Presets, everything you need in the description. Drop a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing and any questions I will answer. Create more, stress less, and I will see you in the next one.